Hi friends, welcome to KVR Maths Academy. In this video, let's discuss second problem in exercise 3.3 in polynomial of 10th class mathematics. Right? So before discussing this problem, friends, please subscribe my YouTube channel, those who are not subscribed yet. Thank you. Yes, let's go through this. Yeah. See, this is the second problem. Find the quadratic polynomial in each case with the given numbers as the sum and product of its zeros respectively. See, find the quadratic polynomial in each case with the given numbers as the sum and product of its zeros respectively. Here, sum of the zeros and product of the zeros has given, we should find by using these sum and product of the zeros, we should find quadratic polynomial. Right, let us find one by one. Yeah, see first one, first one I am taking 1 by 4 comma minus 1. Right, so actually what is the quadratic polynomial? What we are taking generally? Yes, yeah, ax square plus bx plus c, right? Yeah, let us take, let the quadratic polynomial, quadratic polynomial be ax square plus bx plus c and zeros zeros are zeros are alpha and beta let us take quadratic polynomial is x square plus bx plus c and zeros are alpha and beta these are the greek letters no yeah so here given that given that sum of the zeros alpha plus beta is equal to how much has given is 1 by 4 and alpha beta product of the zeros is equal to minus 1 yeah so we know very well what is that we know that yes the quadratic polynomial quadratic polynomial of zeros zeros alpha and beta is equal to what is the quadratic polynomial of zeros alpha and beta yes that is k into x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta isn't it so the quadratic polynomial of zeros alpha and beta is k into x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta here but k is belongs to r only now yes so then here already has given alpha plus beta is equal to 1 by 4 and alpha beta is equal to minus 1 so that is that is k into x square minus alpha plus beta is yes 1 by 4 1 by 4 into x plus alpha beta is minus 1 substitute right that is k into x square minus 1 by 4 x minus 1 right here we should take an out k value right so take any value of k here in denominator 4 is there right so take k is equal to 4 then it will be cancelled or not yeah yeah look here if k is equal to 4 then the required required quadratic quadratic polynomial poly polynomial is equal to 4 into x square minus 1 by 4 x minus 1 so that is equal if you multiply it 4x square minus x minus 4. So this is the required polynomial with sum of the zeros is 1 by 4 and product of the zeros is minus 1. So have you understood about this? Yes, note it down. Next, uh, second one, root 2 and 1 by 3 has given. Sum of the zeros is root 2 and product of the zeros is 1 by 3. Yes let the quadratic polynomial let the quadratic polynomial be ax square plus bx plus c and its zeros its zeros are alpha and beta right let us take like this right yeah given given uh, sum of the zeros alpha plus beta is equal to root 2 and uh, product of the zeros alpha plus alpha beta is equal to 1 by 3. 
right sum of the zeros is root 2 and product of the zeros 1 by 3 right yeah so we know very well about the general form of the quadratic equation yes what is that write down we know that we know that the quadratic polynomial quadratic polynomial of zeros alpha and beta is equal to what yes k into x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta where k is k belongs to r isn't it so the quadratic polynomial of zeros alpha and beta is k is k into x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta where k belongs to r k is any constant right so in the place of alpha plus beta and alpha beta substitute these values so that is equal to k into x square minus alpha plus beta is root 2 root 2 x plus alpha beta is 1 by 3 right uh, here take any value of k which value shall we take here in denominator 3 is there no so that's why 3 take yes if k is equal to 3 then the required required polynomial is equal to 3 into x square minus root 2 into x plus 1 by 3 so if you multiply it you will get 3x square minus 3 root 2x plus 1 so this is the required polynomial of, of sum of the zeros is root 2 and product of the zeros is 1 by 3 have you understood clearly yes note it down next in third case 0 and root 5 sum of the zeros is 0 and the product of the zeros is root 5 yeah so let us take uh, let the quadratic polynomial polynomial b x square plus bx plus c and zeros zeros are alpha and beta right let us take like this next given given alpha plus beta sum of the zeros is equal to how much zero next product of the zeros is equal to root five yes next uh, what is the quadratic polynomial of zeros alpha plus beta is alpha and beta is yes right down we know that the quadratic polynomial quadratic polynomial of zeros alpha and beta is equal to what is that s k into x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta isn't it where k is belongs to r any rational number any real number yeah so k any constant we should take right here uh, that is equal to k into in the place of alpha plus beta and alpha beta substitute these so x square minus alpha plus beta is 0 into x plus alpha alpha beta is root 5 so that is equal to k into x square 0 x is 0 only so x square plus root 5 isn't it yeah now take any value of k here not there any denominator no take uh, as k as 1 enough if k is equal to k is equal to 1 mm, then then the required required polynomial required quadratic polynomial right now quadratic polynomial is equal to 1 into x square plus root 5 so simply this is x square plus root 5 so this is the required quadratic polynomial of sum of the zeros is 0 and product of the zeros is root 5 have you understood clearly yes note it down 
Next in fourth case, let us see sum of the zeros is equal to one and product of the zeros equal to one has given, right? Yeah. Now take let the quadratic polynomial quadratic polynomial b x square plus b x plus c and its zeros its zeros are are alpha and beta its zeros are alpha and beta let us take next so sum of the zeros alpha plus beta is equal to how much yes one has given next product of the zeros also equal to alpha beta is equal to one has given right next what is the quadratic polynomial of zeros alpha plus alpha and beta is x square k into x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta right yeah write down that so we know that the quadratic polynomial quadratic polynomial of zeros alpha and beta is equal to k into x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta where k is belongs to our real numbers right k is any constant yeah in the place of alpha plus beta and alpha beta substitute one one and one right so that is equal to k into x square minus one plus sorry one into one into x plus one so that is k into x square minus x plus one right yeah in the place of k substitute any value uh, which um, which means here denominators not there any denominators no simply substitute one take k is equal to one if k is equal to one then the then the required required quadratic polynomial quadratic polynomial real is equal to one into x square minus x plus one so this is simply x square minus x plus one so this is the required polynomial of sum of the zeros is one and product of the zeros is one have you understood clearly yes note it down next uh, in fifth case let us find yeah sum of the zeros is minus one by four and product of the zeros is one by four has given right yeah so first uh, let the quadratic polynomial quadratic polynomial b x square plus b x plus c and its uh, zeros zeros are alpha and beta yes so sum of the zeros alpha plus beta is equal to how much has given minus 1 by 4 and product of the zeros alpha beta is equal to 1 by 4 has given right so we know very well uh, about the quadratic polynomial of zeros alpha and beta what is that is k into x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta right where k belongs to r yeah that is right we know that the quadratic polynomial polynomial of zeros alpha and beta is equal to k, k into x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta beta where k belongs to r isn't it so in the place of alpha plus beta and alpha beta substitute these values right yeah that is equal to k into x square minus 1 by 4 into x plus 1 by 4 isn't it yeah here this is equal to k into x square minus 1 by 4 x plus 1 by 4 so you take any value of k here in denominator 4 is there that's why k is equal to take a 4 value 4 right yeah if k is equal to 4 then the required required quadratic polynomial po required quadratic polynomial is equal to 4 into x square minus 1 by 4 
into x plus 1 by 4. If you multiply, what will you get? Yes, 4x square minus x plus 1. So this is the required polynomial, required quadratic polynomial of sum of the zeros is minus 4 and product of the zeros is 1 by 4. Have you understood clearly? Yes, note it down. Next, uh, sixth case. This is the final question in the problem 2. Yes, 4 comma 1, sum of the zeros is 4 and product of the zeros is 1. Right? Yeah. Now, let the quadratic polynomial, quadratic polynomial be x square plus bx plus c and its zeros zeros are alpha and beta let us take like this yes now has given alpha plus beta is equal to 4 and product of the zeros alpha beta is equal to 1 has given right yeah what do we know yes the quadratic polynomial of zeros the alpha and beta is yes k into x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha alpha beta right where k belongs to r right let's write down we know that the quadratic polynomial quadratic polynomial of zeros of zeros alpha and beta is equal to k into x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta where k belongs to r right so here in the place of alpha plus beta and alpha beta substitute these values 4 and 1 so that is equal to k into x square minus 4x plus 1 isn't it here here take any value of k so here not there any denominator simply take 1 k is equal to 1 if k is equal to 1 then the required required polynomial polynomial is equal to 1 into x square minus 4x plus 1 so that is equal to simply x square minus 4x plus 1 so this is the required polynomial of sum of the zeros is 4 and product of the zeros is 1 so have you understood clearly is noted down okay friends if you like my video please like and share don't forget to subscribe thank you thank you very much